Pick up the foul, Sean. Well, Lucina. Come on. Why was Mude so good at that matchup, bro? I bet, he he he, I bet you he practiced it. I guarantee you Who'd he, he was playing, here. bro? I guarantee you he was here this morning playing. He was one of those players, you oh, know what I mean? Oh, playing pink. <laughs> I was, was going to say, there's like Marcus. two Min Min's in the building. <laughs> yeah, one's on stage, the other is Marcus. Yeah. Pink fresh in the building. Let's see? Mude's right. strong game one, though. That's what you want to see, because if I'm mute, well, maybe he wants him to say Min Min, honestly. That was, that was dominant. Sure. Straight up. Yeah. It's like, did I, did I win? by too big of a margin, and now he's going to switch to Lucina, and now i got to deal with that, but we'll see. Lucina's weird, too, because, I mean, we were talking so much about Rob and how uh, prevalent Rob has been in the meta over the course of Ultimate's lifespan, but Lucina, despite never being bad, has really sort of gone underground uh, just because everybody's stopped playing her. Yeah. Everybody just said, nah, I'm either not having fun or, you know, it just doesn't feel the same. Uh, so if Proto Bantam is able to pull out Lucina here, you have to hope that Mudace is ready for it. Is Wait. Mudace picking the song? Why did he go from the bottom to song three? You see that? He went to song one, he went down to 12, and then all the way up. <laughs> there we go! Bizarre. This, all right, all right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Here we go. Lucina is out and ready, and like you said, this is still difficult for Peach. I mean, Peach historically struggling with disjoints, with swords, trying to fight around uh, characters that could sort of limit her movement. Let's see what Proto Bantam has. Yeah, you can already see him trying to cut him off in the air. A couple Nairs coming out. Look at the pressure here in the corner, too. This is the Lucina, Kony, right. for sure. This is the Lucina, so... Uh, I want to see the Proto Bantam air dodge. I will never forget watching his run at EVO 2019. And this dude would air dodge high off stage because he knew he could make it back. And I'm like, somebody needs to go out there and hit him. But nobody <laughs> ever did. It was way safer than it looked. Uh -huh. Proto Bantam, just a master of his craft. There's the back air. Mudace with no jump, so we're going to take the parasol. Yep. Take the damage here, hope to save a stock, but no, he doesn't. Some She's of the best so edge guarding. Uh -huh. Yeah, hanging curveball right there, right? Just knocked it right out of the park. Proto Banham, edge guarding master, and you can already see the, I'm telling you, man, it's Lucina special. Yeah. So good. It's the same kind of vibes I get when I watch certain, like when I watch Leo's Joker. It's not like anybody else's yeah, Joker, yeah. you know what I mean? I feel like Proto Banham on Lucina is just something special. Yeah, well, hold on, we got Lades Lucina. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay, <laughs> relax. Hold, 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 relax. <laughs> shout out my man. Lades but... Incineroar, that's what I'm there telling you. There we go. watch the Incin, that, You understand him on a different level, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's, that's a soul character right there, but either way, we got Still, Mudes working on this first stock. Back air, nice job waiting up that spot dodge. Here we go. Mudes also has been really good at the ledge and off stage, but that was against Min Min. This is going to be different. I love that from Peach, too. The float back turnaround grab. You're so afraid of the back air, right. the full knockback from it, and then you just get a grab, too. The smooth movement from Peach, man. Never get old. Oh, wow. The forward air coming through. That was a bizarre interaction. It looked like the fist didn't even come out, but well done to Mudes taking off that first stock. Uh -oh. But now, part of Bantam. Just waiting for Ooh. it. Ooh, goes for the downer. That's crazy. Yeah, the thing I like, too, about Proto's edge guarding is he's not afraid to go out there and counter, too, like we saw in the first stock, but then he, he will go off and make a snap decision like that downer. Right. Like, the tempo is just insane that he moves out. Got to keep pace. Mutex is doing that, though, even here on the second stock, but now Proto pulling ahead a little more. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, my love God. Love the parry. Mutex thought he saw an opportunity to swing, and he was incorrect. Yep. The speed on the stage or off the stage is going to make some magic happen with this Lucina. But here we go. A few days time to shine at the ledge. Showing back air, getting some pressure, fading away. I love the pressure there, Coney. So good for Mutes. And despite the fact that Proto Bantam has apparently been in the driver's seat, at least from my Ooh. perspective, it feels like he's been way stronger this game. Mutes is only one hit away from tying it back up. Yeah. Almost, it, it feels like, where did this come from, yeah. right? Yeah, that's, that's Peach, right? You turn your head and you take 70%, you know? It's some crazy stuff that's happening. But honestly, Mute is just chipping away more and more. A lot of grabs here, too. Good a lot ground, of grabs. Good grounded gameplay, too, which is going to be important. When you kind of lose that dogfight, especially with a character like Peach, you need to have strong control of the ground. And Mute is doing that. The way to do that, too, is the turnips as well. But see what we got here, Coney. Huge game two. Mute's either going up 2-0 against the best Lucina in the world, or it's going to be even, even games here. It's interesting. We're seeing so many grabs on both sides, and but it's because both of them doesn't want to don't want to take the hit, and you know that's sort of an obvious statement. But the bigger thing is, if you take the hit, it's not like you're just taking the damage. Both of these two can put each other in such compromising positions in the air. Peach doesn't want to have to slowly come down, floating uh, to the ground and just having to worry about that sword. Meanwhile, on the other side, Mudes is always threatening with that back oh, air, with that nice. forward air. Proto Bantam 
Seeing the back air come out, gonna shield it and pop the up B. Now it's 1-1. One, one. Something I really like about Proto's Lucina too is how he uses his special move so well. Like you saw the counter, obviously, side B was so good, up B to end it, but then also the shield breaker too. If you watch, you gotta watch Mute Shield. Can't be taking any, you know, at 70, 80% shield, he might be looking for that shield breaker. He's not afraid to go to it, but right. very, very close game too there. And honestly, I think that stage is just so good for Lucina in that matchup. It, close quarters, you know, the platforms, it forces more air-to-air -air interactions. Uh, just the way he's able to control the small amount of stage with that sword too, very good. So I'm curious to see what Mute's gonna do with the counter picks. In time here, looking at the rules. Mute does have, this is gonna sound strange, but Mute does have the option of counter picking himself in order to try to get Min Min out. So let's yep, say yep. let's say something like FD, yep, right? Yep. Yeah, so FD, historically, you know, it's not terrible for Peach, but being a floaty character, having difficulty getting back to the ground, getting juggled can be a struggle. Uh, and having that large area, that large space might uh, make entice Proto, him. yeah, might entice him, might tempt him to switch over to the Min Min to try to, you know, really exploit that space. Yeah. That said, I don't know if he would go for it. Um, yeah. I mean, that, that Lucina looks very powerful, very it's, strong. It's a combination of how big of the lead or how big the win was for Mutase in game one and how good that game two was for Proto. It's, you clutched it out with your main in game two and you lost, you know, pretty decisively there in game one with Min, -Min right. so, oh, here we go. Where are we going? No, go, FF7, there. which Wait. means it's it's a, uh, okay, so I was gonna say it has to be a, a smash stage. This song is great. <laughs> what? No! <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> I think Mute Ace is great. I do not want to okay. see the Mute Ace Mario against Proto Band. That was so <laughs> scary, <laughs> <laughs> bro. If I'm if I'm if I'm on the other side of that, I'm mashing start. Oh, go, you picked go, yep, it, bro. Sorry, yep. You picked it. And then they pause you like, all right, I'm taking Mario stock too. Once you bro, you're not trying to play Mario. Wait, come, come on, on, bro. You picked that. You're a professional player. You picked the wrong character. <laughs> so you wanted the princess, not the plumber. Come on. <laughs> Either way, game one, game three already off to an explosive start here. 61% of both players, 76, and now we're gonna see what Mutase can do at the ledge here. Nice, aggressive bear off the ledge too. Something that Mutase is gonna have to watch out for is how he ledge traps. It's just gonna be difficult against, against this Lucina. Yeah, Mutase is usually very comfortable at the ledge, likes throwing it out, Ooh. likes being threatening, but it does feel like Proto Bandom is just gonna be able to swing at him consistently and not even like lose anything for doing it. I mean, like if, if Mutase, do, or if Proto Bandom does the second jump forward air, he's gonna be able to land fast enough to not really take much of a punish unless it's just a grab. Mutase is getting a lot of those though. Yeah, you're seeing a lot of parries too on the aerials. Up smash, job by Proto, able to juggle here. Good situation again. This is where Proto, oh my god, the triple stall. Oh. That was so, look how low he went too. The aggression, oh my god. Oh. Mutase with the recovery though, regrab. Yeah, he's getting a back air. I can't believe Mutase got the better end of that interaction. What a turnaround. Mutase is so patient off stage with the float. It yeah. always, it, he looks like a daredevil, dude. Every time I see Mutase off on the side, just using that float in yeah. that, in that, you know, sort of gap down there, I'm always like, oh man, he's gonna, he's gonna pay for this. Something yeah. bad's gonna happen. Something it, bad never happens. It's Proto too. I mean, they're both daredevils. You know, it's just the way Proto's recovery there after the triple side beat was just, it was, just, it was low, man. Like he's just going crazy here. Up throw? Not yet. Not yeah, yet. Back no. Throw, yeah. No rage. It, it, that throw needs rage for sure. Needs to scale up a little bit, but either way, not connecting there. Max distance. Yude is desperately wow. struggling to try to find a way back on the stage. 180. We're gonna float high and just go back to ledge. How do you get in on Lucina? Oh, Protom swings a little early. Nice. Oh, dash attack caught him moving into. That was just a second hit. Nice shot by Butte now. This is so perilous. Yeah, yeah that, what's the way in? You gotta be careful there, because the shield too is just so good for Lucina in this matchup. You throw a bear a little too close. That up B, the dolphin slash is so strong. Nice spacing there for Mute Ace. But again, up B is just gonna it interrupt so many characters in this game. Their combo system, their whole blow gets thrown off by that up B from Lucina. That was so good on the up B too, because it was a max distance yep. down tilt. Yep. It was literally just with the very edge of her shoe. And because that proto recognized the situation, said you can't get in here fast enough. Yep. And, and the mind game there is that Mute next time backs off or runs up shields or right. something like that. And then you have to punish the Dolphin Slash, which you have platforms, you have outs afterwards. It's crazy. Right. It's just such a good anti-pressure uh, tool. Oh my god. Down tilt, yep, there, very nice. 
You didn't see the pressure here now. Not that fair up the ledge, Coney. It's just so good. It's doing magic here for Proto Bandam in this game three. Muda, it, it's very disruptive. Like, yeah. if Muda is sitting there trying to consider his options, trying to put Proto Bandam in a bad spot and think, okay, if he jumps, I do X. If normal gets up, I do Y. Oh, no, but no, unfortunately, no. it comes out too fast. And unfortunately, that air dodge is going to go a little bit too low. Muda is giving that stock up essentially just out of fear. Yeah, he'll give it up. But here we go. There. Pressure in the air there. Man, everything Mutace is trying to do here, just moving around so much, trying to bait out something, but just the way Proto plays, distance he plays that, and the ability, that you said it very well, Coney, he's anti-pressure. He'll just shut down your pressure and assert his own, honestly. Swinging a bunch. Oh, wow, going through the down air. That's got to be exceptionally hard to hit on Peach. That down air, <laughs> yeah, like, right. it's not happening. I know, he's done it, he's gone for it a couple times too, the confidence is there. Mutate's given a little space at the ledge there, too, learning from the board air. I mean, all right, you want to fair from the ledge? I'm going to give you a little bit of space. Go ahead and do it again, and I'll back air you with punish, basically. And look but. at that sort of frustrating. Mutate's just playing right outside the range. You can see him just walking in front of Mutate's. Picks up the turnip. Not going to do anything with it, but the throw into the board air. Nice side beat. I love that, actually. Even taking the hit. Better than being off stage right now. Mutace with a big forward air. Last stock situation, Coney. This is the rubber game, too. Essentially, we're in the best of, best of three territory. The problem here is I haven't really seen Mutace go wild with anything. It's, it, it's straight hits, right? It's not like crazy combos. They're getting 41 off a couple. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, my God. Barely oh. sneaking around that back air. I, honestly, I'm surprised that it didn't connect. Shot by Mutace living here now. Has to make it back off the ledge. This has been so good for Proto. You, oh, let it go shield, but it's okay. Again, max distance, but the up tilt is going to do it off the top. Again, man, I mean, we got to talk about that SD just a little bit. Right. It was, I think, 110 or so, and it had to get off the ledge, so it was still like, you know, that stock was ready to pop any moment. But you have Rage, Rage Peach on the other side, too. You're able to get out of the corner, maybe take a stock first, but definitely helping Proto out there. And again, yeah, I want to talk about that game one yet again. Just winning it so decisively. It's like, man, maybe I should have thrown a little bit, you know? Bring sort down of. last stock, something like that. But. Well, there also was a bit of an SD on Proto Bantam's sure. part on the mid mid. Oh, that's so. true. Could see it both ways, but we'll see how this uh, fourth game goes. Proto Bantam <clears throat> looking like after the swap to Lucina has all the momentum in the world. Again, it just does look like quite a struggle for Peach, man. It, it looks like every opportunity that she has to try to get in and rack up damage is just stuffed by that blade again and again. And if Mutis had to pop into any pool, it, the fact that he had to get into the group with Proto Bantam is it's a little yeah. tough, you know? He actually uploaded a funny video about, like, this is the reward I get, you know what I mean? Uh, After playing all day yesterday, this is what I have to play against. Lucina, the best Lucina. Min Min, all this stuff that Peach is just kind of a tough time dealing with. But Mutis, like you said, Coney, I think he's, he's making his money with uh, the straight hits, you know what I mean? With right. Lucina, if you're not super airtight, you're easy fading away with that back air. But if you're not super airtight with your pressure and your combos, up B's going to be coming out and interrupting. Okay. Yep. Uh-huh. See it again, man. Get that max range down tilt, but the follow-up is going to get shut down every day. Down throw. I like the recognition that the platform was there, so doesn't just swing the back air. Expecting a tech in place again, but Proto mixing it up. Right, right, float yeah, right. and that, God, Mutace is so good at the air to air that he could just do that. He sort he's of floats in your face. He's yeah. like wave dashes coming up with Proto too, by the way. And it's honestly, movement. I gotta say it, man. I don't use that term lightly, but it is what it is. Either way, Mutace now. 93 already, corner pressure here. Giving him the space again too, respecting the sword distance. I like this from Mutace. You might want to trade bear to bear. That's really good in this spot. Maybe bear to interrupt something, but Proto, look how he just took the stage back just with movement. You know what I mean? That's right. so good. That's so good. And I think both of them are realizing how many grabs they're both good. We're seeing a lot oh. more spot dodges on both sides. Trying to beat out that grab, trying to punish each other. Nice, going through the back air, can't find it. Both, they're playing so patiently when they're both kind of caught. Oh right. my god, the conversion there, the back air. Proto taking the first stock here, Coney. There's so much threatening. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. it, it's not as much swinging as there was in earlier matches. Like, yeah. you guys did the empty jump. Even there, there's a lot of empty hops, a lot of empty jumps. The problem there is that Proto gets so much more if he just swings. Like, if, if, if Mutis tries to get a little bit too cute, keeps doing these empty jumps, all Proto has to do is challenge him and call his bluff and hit the forward air. Forward air there, too. Looks for a down air. This is getting out of hand for Mute. He's got to find the stock, find it quickly. 
Proto holding down center stage. Look at that. I'm telling you, wow. I have not seen I love that. wave dashing, wave landing, whatever you want to call it from Lucina. He's using it so effective. Look at this, man. It's crazy. We're on the wrong stream, man. We've got the melee stream going on over here. Back air again. Oh, oh my man. god. Two sock lead. Huge for Proto. Talk about the adjustments, the ability to switch between two characters like this too. Proto is playing amazing right now. Back throw, oh my god, not killing for New Days. And, and as the set has gone on, Proto has just become more and more of a roadblock in Mutace's path, and it, it, it seems almost destined to go in Proto Bantam's way at this point. 191 oh no. eating the back air, despite the fact that Mute is usually so good in these air to air interactions, he's still taking so much damage just because Proto is not afraid of him off stage, living to 200% there after that back air. Yeesh. Yeah. Again, we're going to with a full stock lead here, Coney. It's looking tough for Mutates, but he did almost make a big comeback in the last game, too. It's definitely possible. We talked about the damage output of Peach. As good as Proto is at avoiding those big combo starters and getting out of the combos, Mute can still make it happen. Harry, okay. Whoa, I think that's, okay. You called this out. Oh, hold on. A stitch. Big stitch. Hold on. Regrab. Oh, okay. Oh, he dropped it. That was so, I love when Peaches, they play around the stitch. You right. know what I mean? Like, everyone's so afraid of it. That's a stock right there, Coney. Wait a Beautiful. minute. Yeah, I don't think Mutace has taken a ton of damage on this third stock. Basically wiped that second one. Might be able to roll with this momentum. Probably not going to get another stitch. I mean, didn't land any stitch hits, but definitely put the fear to Proto Bantam. There's two up airs. Can't continue to extend oh, it. Man, that back air barely not connecting. I think the hurt box of forward tilt actually saved him there. Like, it would have been a back air to connect him. Perry, though. Oh, he read him. Oh, my God. The dance he played this time will connect. Ain't it? Will KO. Very nice shot by Proto Banham. Getting that tech read away. I mean, we've seen her so fast. Her tech chases could just be so good. She's quick. Hey, she is, man. And I think, you know, two things Peach don't, doesn't like fighting against. Good speed, good range there, and obviously Lucina has both those in spades. And not to mention shutting down the pressure too big time. And good edge guards, man. I mean, Proto was just firing at all cylinders there with the Lucina. Love to see it. It, it felt like Proto Bantam just for the entirety of the set had the advantage just in terms of how the characters function. If Mute swings early, Proto Bantam could just shield and then punish. If Mute tries to sort of bait something out and sit at that, you know, that sort of range and try to make Proto do something, Proto could just overshoot aerials and, and catch him. It just seemed very difficult for Mute to deal with, but again, this is a top level Lucina. Yeah. And you saw there with the end, I, I think Mute thought that he would just pop the two. You know, just yeah. like Dan uh, Dance Blade 1 and 2, mix up, yeah. and then let it go because he was like, okay, well, I'm shielding. There's no way he ends.